How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. I'm wired on caffeine and I have my favorite thing in the world in front of me. My planner, this planner. Uh, it just, it makes me feel like such an adult. Five-year-old me would be very proud right now. I am sitting in a hotel room somewhere in the thick apple because I am on a business trip. Oh, what business? Multiple, because I am entrepreneur stamps. See, I love social media. I will never stop entertaining you, but a woman's gotta, you know, diversify her income. I am here to launch my jewelry collab. So first of all, I could have just done this back at home in Texas. I could have hired a photographer there and, you know, just tried to launch it the old school way over the internet, but no. I wanted to put in the extra effort to spread the word. So I flew here. We're having a photo shoot. So I have to run right now, actually. That's why I'm all dressed up. And I did my struggle bangs, but now they're curtain struggle bangs. I am, I just, look at me go. Okay. I think I've mentioned this in my past video. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I am. Like I've always wanted to design something and see it come to life to create a product. And that's exactly what we did. You've already seen these before. If you saw my past video, I'm gonna go quickly do a photo shoot wearing all of these items. Then we're having a little like secret launch party just to invite some close friends and people, you know, have some little drinks and tiramisu, have them wear the jewelry, take pictures in it, encourage their followers to buy it. Fun times, there's no expectations. I don't expect Meghan Markle to be like, hey girl, can I get five of those necklaces? I mean, you can if you're watching. You can, I'm just saying. I always say, expect the worst, hope for the best. I'm just having such a fun time. Look at this, like we, ah! It's so awesome to shift my focus away from the channel for a few weeks and onto something else. And then there's a second thing I'm doing, which is actually my business, or at least, you know, me with a couple of other people who I'm friends with. We all want to start, I won't say what it is, just in case like we decide to change our mind on it, but it's time to create a product to sell to people. Graham Steffens told me this in person when I did this podcast together. It is time because I have the platform, I have the brains. I'm very much a technical person, to be honest. As you can tell, I'm not very like artistically inclined. Like my editing is just bare minimum. Uh, I can draw, I can do stuff like that. I definitely am more, I guess, artsy in that sense, but I know how to make money. That's always been my expertise. Since I was a kid, I was like embroidering gymnastics costumes. I was selling, um, like music cuts. I always had shmoney around because I knew how to just generate it. So now is the perfect time to create a product. People keep commenting on my skin, for example. Thank you, first of all. I am thinking, okay, create maybe a sunscreen or something, like a daily sunscreen that is, you know, good for people of color so that's not showing on our skin or for anybody for that matter because I just think a lot of sunscreens have a lot of sketchy ingredients in them. And I happen to know people who work in the pharmaceutical industry and literally create these products. So that's one of the ideas that we're bouncing off. We're gonna figure out something. Either way, I'm super excited to be here. I just wanted to share that life update because it's so important to not get sucked into one thing. If you're watching this and you work, you know, a nine to five, for example, at a bank or you're in school, please just have different things going on because it makes me happy personally and it takes away that anxiety of what am i doing am i doing enough that imposter syndrome i think that's what happens when you focus too much on one thing and it's happened quite a bit with youtube sometimes even though i'm doing more than enough i just start to question myself even though i shouldn't so you know i don't really watch other youtubers too much but when i do that kind of happens because i wonder oh am i not doing enough editing am i not providing enough of this or that you know you can't make everyone happy it is what it is. Perfect. So you can still film while we shoot. 
Okay, we finished the photo shoot in the garment district. It was so much fun. I love that I met Matilda, the owner of En Route Jewelry, because we're friends. Plus, I got to meet her intern. Hold on, people are staring at me while I make a video. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh my God, I'm cringing, I'm cringing. Ah! Okay, someone's cute looking at me. Anyway, we finished the photo shoot. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, take 100. We finished the photo shoot and now I'm just taking a quick little dinner break because I didn't eat anything before. This is my new supermodel diet since I was a model earlier, which was so much fun. Something else I wanted to mention, I have run into I think five subscribers since I landed yesterday afternoon and it's so cool. Like the last girl I just ran into crossing the street here at Bryant Park, hello if you're watching, she was like, I know you get this a lot, but you really, you know, make me feel better. Your videos help me change my outlook. And, you know, even though I do hear it several times a day and read it in my emails, that doesn't mean you can't say it. It makes me feel good because, like I said earlier, the imposter syndrome kind of kicks in every now and then where I start kind of doubting myself. And I don't know what the point of my videos are sometimes. But when people come up to me and say that, I'm like, that's why I make videos because I like to entertain and I like to make people feel good and smile. So that is super nice. I love when people come up to me. I finished my photo shoot. It went very well. I love crossing things off of my planner. What is next on my agenda in the thick apple? Well, tonight I am, with much reluctance, getting on the path train to New Jersey. No shade to New Jersey just shade to the fact that my New Jersey friends don't ever want to make the effort to come here. And I'm the type of person who's like, you know, if you don't make an effort, then I'm just not going to talk to you. And then I end up not being spoken to. I'm like, wait a sec, wait a sec. Y'all have the car. You have, you know, I like, come to me. I don't understand. Don't make me angry right now. I, I'm going to get into fighting mode. I just don't like it. I don't appreciate it. If you're watching, you know who you are. I don't appreciate it. You should come to Manhattan. I get it that you hate Manhattan. People who live in New Jersey hate Manhattan sometimes. They won't even step foot in it if they don't have to. I should stay put. You should come to me. You know what? I'm not. No, I have to, unfortunately. As I already said that I'm on my way, which sucks. I totally was not actually on my way. I run on CPT. If you don't know what that is, if you're not a colored person, person of color. Uh, that means we run late. Say, what's your name? Kelly. Kelly. What's yours? Manolo. What are we doing? Talking about scarpetta? What are we doing? Yeah, we should make out. I'm kidding. My words. Sure. Here you yeah. Kelly, she's awesome. Yes. I don't know who that man is. I am living for the chaos. Ever since that user told me to let the struggle bangs open, look at me, I'm thriving. They're open. I never do this. And now I have this confidence to show my forehead. I haven't even had a drink tonight. 
I'm just thriving right now. You know, that's constructive criticism. Just finished my lunch at Agora, the Turkish place, and now I'm just going on a very slow walk throughout the Upper East Side, specifically the Yorkville kind of border. I used to live not in one of these. These are really nice. These are like private homes, probably. Um, but I lived that way, past Third Avenue, past Second Avenue, <laughs> past First Avenue, in a place called Yorkville, which I talked about in a past video. And it's more affordable, slower, more family-like. This is where I lived when I was here, once I got my life together and figured out that I don't like to live near the chaos. But funny enough, there was something chaotic that just happened when I was eating. So when I was eating my Turkish food, I can't help but hear this man like, ah, 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 behind me. And I thought he was drunk or something, but I think that was just his energy. Maybe he was on something, I don't know, but very New York, right off the bat story, but I'm sitting there eating my lentil soup, which is very good, by the way. I think you should go there. I highly recommend. This man is just acting up in the corner, talking to everyone. He's like, how you doing today? How are y'all y'all doing? All my characters sound exactly the same, but this is exactly what he sounded like. And he, he's just talking to everyone. Okay, so what are you doing? I got other men, sorry. <laughs> so then he sees this guy behind him. He has a camera, some sort of DSLR. And he's like, are you taking pictures? What do you take pictures of? Can you take pictures of me naked? <laughs> and he said that and he just said no. And everyone was so annoyed with him. I got my check and just got up and left. But of course he's sitting in the way that you need to enter. And I get up past him and he's like, wait, 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 where are you going? Why don't you join me? I said, oh, I just ate. And he said, oh no, I didn't mean like that. And then he's like, where are you going? Where are you going? I said, oh, you're kind, you're kind. Just leave me alone. He's like, no, I made you smile. Look at you, you're smiling. You're smiling. Uh, 
Thank you.